So the next we are going to learn is the max a and the min a functions. Um, it's exactly similar to max and the min functions we have done. Um, in the max we get the highest number and in the min we get the lowest number. Exactly similar. Now the only difference we have is that over here we consider in the max a and the min a we consider the text which is the strings, text strings as well as the logical values. So if you select this entire range over here then in this range you have numbers as well as you have text so for the max and for the min functions it will ignore this age and it will return the value but for the max a and the min a it will not ignore the text value it will take into account that text value so i'll just give you a small example if i write max a over here see it returns the largest value in the set of values but it does not ignore the logical values the logical values are true and false so those are the two logical values and we have na also as a logical value and text so it does not ignore the logical values and the text so if i select this entire range over here we have 0 0.9 which is the highest value which is the maximum value we have and also if i calculate the minimum if i calculate the minimum i get the minimum value as 0 0.1 so here the everything works out exactly like maximum and minimum because I only have numbers over here. Now let us suppose um, instead of maybe 0 0.35 I write a true over here. The moment I change it to true see what happens. Uh, okay I need to change this one thing over here is that in my formulas section I want to make it automatic. Okay. So that. So the moment I changed it to true, you get the answer of max a as 1. Why so? You don't have any one value of 1 over here. Because true ha is taken the value of 1. So for max a and min a, true takes the value of 1 and false takes the value of 0. So I'll show you or I'll change this to false. And here you see 0 instead of 0 0.1. Why? Or instead of maybe 0 0.22, you get a value of 0. Why? Because false has taken a value of 0, true takes a value of 1, false takes a value of 0. So this is how you deal with a max a and a min a function. Now instead uh, what I can do, I will show you all one more thing over here, one more thing is that if I change this to maybe school, then see what happened, this min a changed to 0, any text value is taken as a 0 in max a and min a. So this is the major difference between the max a min a and the normal max min which we use. In the max min you only consider the numeric values, you ignore all the logical values and the text values. Over here you do not ignore the text and the numeric uh, or the logical values. The logical values true is taken as 1, false is taken as 0 and any other text you write is taken a value of 0 hence you are getting a value of 0 in the minimum function over here so this is the max a and min a similarly we have something called as average a so i'll just show you all the average a the normal average function which we have done is basically taking out the sum of all these dividing it by the total number which is 6 so i'll take the sum of this and i'll divide it by 6 and i get the average now suppose the only difference between average and the average a function is that in the average a you whenever you have any text values or any blank cells it takes a value of 0 for the average a whereas in the average it ignores the text values so again in the average a it will consider it will take into account the text values in the average it will ignore the text values let us give take an example over here so i find I'll just see this average has been taken out for B26 to B31. So the average over here is for this entire cell range. So I'll do same for average A and check what happens. Average A and I get the value for this entire range. I get the same answer because obviously I've selected all the numericals. Now what will happen if I change any of the uh, values over here to another maybe any text string 
so the moment i changed it to a text string what happened is that here it was previously 82.5 i think and it changed to 81 why so it took all the numbers so i'll just show you all the calculation how is this being done it took the sum of all these so it took a sum of all these which is 405 ignoring the text written over here and it divided 405 by 5 because you have 5 values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 numerical values, five numerical values and you got the answer of 81. But what happened in the case of average A is that it took the value of school as 0. So what basically you are doing, you are taking out the sum of all these numbers. So 89 plus 76 plus 67 plus 0 plus 88 plus 85. So this school has been taken a value of 0. Anything you write, any text string you write, any logical value you write, the value to be taken is uh, 0. And then what happens because this is now considered to be a value which is 0. I will not divide it by 5, I will divide it by 6. So I'll divide this by 6 and I get the answer of 67.5. So this is the main difference between the average and the average A. Average A takes in, into account all the uh, numeric plus the text values. The only difference is that the text values will be considered as 0. Whereas in the average function it ignores, simply ignores the text values. If you have any text values it simply skips that value and moves ahead. So that is the only major difference between the min A, max A and the average A.